Okay guys, I'm working on a little project here. I've got an old uh, 12 gauge shotgun. It's made by, um, well it's, it's a Hercules by the Montgomery Ward Company, um, which is a store brand or store bought gun is what they're classified as. Uh, Ivor Johnson and Stevens Company uh, were famous put, putting these out. I can't tell you what model it is. It doesn't have a model number. Um, for any more information, I'm trying to figure all that out myself. But it is a 12 gauge, and I'm trying to get this one restored, get put back into great uh, position and everything. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt something that I don't know if it's a good idea, don't know if it's a bad idea, but we'll learn together. I'm going to actually um, clean this in my ultrasonic cleaner. Now, I don't expect it to be brand new because it's got surface rust and all that, and that's not what it's meant for. However, what I do have is, I don't know if you can look right down here inside that uh, that hammer right there. There's a bunch of gnarly looking grease and crap, bunch of gunk. So, you know, I could put this in the oven, heat it up, and let all that melt off and pour into a pan. But, you know... I bought this ultrasonic cleaner. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. I've got a couple extra parts in there. It doesn't fit, so I'm going to have to do eight minute increments in like four or five different ways. Now, over here, I've got my solution coming up to boil. Uh, of course, you're not going to want to reuse this pot for anything else, but that's all right. I've, I've got tons of use for this old pot. But I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the cleaner and get it turned on. I just want to document. Uh, the whole process of I'll get back to you as this goes through okay guys that eight minute cycle uh, has just finished I, I am using the micro 90 solution I'm kind of hoping that it does take the blue off because like I said I'm trying to restore this so I'm going to re-blue it anyways and take it off the water is like really really nasty really nasty which is a good thing so let's go ahead and pull this out Get down in there. Let's see what, if any. Okay, it looks like it's. I don't know the camera can see it from with my eye. I can really see it gunking up real good. Oh yeah, look how clean that that, that right up in there is getting. Back, go back here to the yeah it's nasty nasty so let me uh flip this around let me grab this out we'll take a it's it's like it's cleaning it nicely um Here's a bowl. It actually might take more than one or two cycles with something this big, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and start it back up. And we'll just let it work. Let me try to get some of the solution. get it to sit down inside there let it be sitting up okay just want to show you right quick I just did that one um, <clears throat> where I'd set it in like this I had it set in like that cleaning versus like that And I want to show you just that one cycle. It has really, really cleaned that gunk. It's 
So I'm going to go ahead and let it run for a couple more cycles in that position. Um, as soon as I turn it on, we'll be on cycle number five. But that was just cycle number one for that position. So, okay, do. <clears throat> okay, that's the end of the uh, fifth cycle cleaning. See if I can't zoom in right here. A lot of that gunk has come out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around for a little bit. I went and grabbed my toothbrush. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to scrub now to see if, uh, you know, how much of that I can scrub out. You know, it's, <clears throat> it's an ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm sure, you know, you still got to use some elbow grease. However, minimize on the amount of elbow grease you're going to be required to use. So, I mean, I can tell you, there is a world of difference from... When I was looking at this before I decided to run it through the ultrasonic cleaner, uh, that inside is way cleaner. Now, what I really want to try to do is, is get that built up gunk right there out. So, I'm thinking that the ultrasonic cleaner had knocked it loose. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to run it down in there and see how much I can drag out of there. Oh. You know what? That's, that's the original shipping grease. Gnarly. That's what that's, that's the original shipping grease. Eh? This gun was never properly cleaned when it was bought. And I know I couldn't have bought it because they dropped a Hercules name in nineteen thirty. I wasn't born until seventy six. But as you can tell, that ultrasonic cleaner, it, it, it knocked it loose. So, I'm going to continue cleaning. And then I'll just show you the end results. I don't want this to be too long of a video. I'm going to let that soak in that hot soapy water. We'll rinse it out again. But, uh, I tell you, it's just. Real, real good job there. I would have to give it a good thumbs up, A-OK. -okay. And a shocker of the week.